What's the crack lads? We're back with a huge pack opening as we search across three different profiles for our free epic and we do get one. We get one towards the end. We're also going to be doing a review of all the top epics in it including Torres, Van Basten, Parchi, Sung and of course Caesar in goals as well. So we're going to give you training guides and reviews of those. Keep it locked to the channel. Let's get straight into it. Ooh, it's the Basilized, your first spin. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, we've got 12 more to go. I don't think I don't know that many people that have actually got a legend in this or a, or a top top player. Who is it, man? Oh my God, Kudin Kelleher! It's Liverpool players. They're mocking me. I don't think there's going to be any in these that we get. Nah, I mean he's fast, but for this account he won't be too bad. But I just don't really, I couldn't really be bothered training him up, man. See, lads. This is a troll, man. This is a troll with this. Because I've seen the animation a few times. I've got the legend animation and got a, a terrible player. I've got the fireworks and the rim around it going to be different colors. And I've got a legend out of it. And I've also got a normal player. Yeah, I would like Parchi Sung or Torres, honestly. I would like Parchi Sung or Torres. Parchi Sung was one of my favorite players growing up. From the United guy. Oh my god, man. That's Bill Equator. I think they need to change it. I think for eFootball 24 or 25, they need to bring in, like, that walkout animation for a top, top player. And the rest of these animations can get in the bin. I just think they're silly, man. They should have just kept the normal one. And just had this opening. This actual opening here. For every, like, for just a big card. So, like, for this one here, where it changes color. Hold on now. We could be cooking now. We could be cooking with somebody here. Tommy Yashu, see? You don't know who you're getting, man, when they, when they blimp goes. Nah. There's the blimp back again, but it's white on the roof, so we do get Koke. Koke Kole! Because we have 11 on that as well. Oh, Radu. Spaghetti Ragu. Alright, this is it, boys. What was that, 14 spins? An absolutely nobody, man. The lights need to be a different color. He looks like, um, well, we're on, I think we're on about, yeah, we're, we, this is our third account and we've opened what, 14 in each? So 14, 14, 14 is what? About 50 players. I think I'm going to go, the one player that I'm 100% going to spin for boys is Romario um, and whatever pack that comes in. So, as far as I know, there are still a couple of legends that they're going to be releasing, especially Monday. Um, I think it looks like we're going to be getting... I think we could be getting Ronaldinho Monday, actually. This is it, lads. We're not going to get anybody, man. 25 spins just here that you're after seeing across two profiles, and we got nobody. Not, we're going to end on a bust. All right. Lads, we did actually get two extra spins for logging in today. So I am going to throw this video all together as part of like a review as well. We're going to do a review of all these players. We did get a bust of a spin there, but we finally did get a legend. Now this is on our main profile. Uh, so across three profi profiles in total, I think we did about 45 spins around that. Close enough to 50 anyway, but we did end up getting Van der Vaart. As you see here, um, I think it took 14 spins or 15 spins on this account and so on and so forth. You saw the rest of the spins or the best of the rest of the spins. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the best builds, the best review of these cards because they are the older epic cards. There's a couple of differences between them. So we're going to start with Van der Vaart, seeing as we just got him there in the last spin. He's not amazing, but he has got some really nice player skills. I'm not going to overcomplicate this, lads, right? When you're talking about these type of cards, you're looking for an impact player. You're looking for either if you're starting the game and you're building a squad, you're looking for somebody that can come in as a legend and, and, and kind of go the distance. They're not going to compare with the new boosters. Now, this guy does have, Van der Vaart does have a lot of really nice player skills. He's got lovely shooting skills, passing skills. This is the build that we've gone for right here. I'm going to show you straight up here. So this is the build that we've gone for with Raphael van der Vaart, obviously from the 08-09 season. 
you're going to be getting a plus two manager boost to all of these stats. So you don't need to go that high with the dribbling. You know, we're going to give him a very solid build of 6, 8, 8, 10, 8. And that's going to give us really nice stats with the ball control, tight possession, low pass, lofted pass, his free kicks, curl, kick and power, all into the 90s. And then balance is going to be 85. Big problem with this card, lads, I, I, I think is just his speed and his overall kind of like engine. He's not going to be able to play CMF, so you have to play him AMF. And his shooting isn't as good as it needs to be for where the gameplay is at at the moment if you are going to be playing him as an AMF. But I'm going to try him out and I'm going to see that is the best build that we have there for him. We're also going to check out Lizarazu. Again, we're not going to overcomplicate it, lads. Honestly, this guy is a really, really solid attack and fullback, so that's how you should train him. He's got one touch pass, he's got pinpoint crossing, Low lofted pass, interception. If you can give him blocker, that would be huge. I think it would be obviously a big advantage if you're using this guy as a blocker. Because of the build we've gone for, you're going to have loads of speed. You're also going to have loads of passing. So again, we talk about the differences between the boosters now and the boosters that are coming out uh, in the future. They're going to be kind of the new meta. If you are looking to use legends like this, you really just need to make him excel in one area. So for the likes of Roberto Carlos, he can play multiple positions with, with the same build. But for Lizarazu, this is kind of, I think, a really nice build. 11, 10, 7, 12, 2, and 9, starting with passing and finishing with defending from the left, uh, or from the left of the screen there. That's going to give you 90 speed with the manager boost, and balance is the same. It's going to be 90. Stamina is going to be into the 99, 100 mark, and acceleration is going to be over 90 as well. But you're still going to have 90 lock often pass to be able to ping those balls in with pinpoint crossing and a lot of his player skills he has one touch pass as well if you give him blocker that will help his defensive capabilities or if you are using him as a defender but i would be using him simply as an attacking left midfielder slash wing back slash left back um and that's where i think you have to go with him as i said a left marauding type of player um i think it's the same with riziki right if you're looking at him uh, the arsenal man he's got 39 levels unwavering form very nice player skills as well. Soul control, chip shot control, one touch pass, first time shot, true passing. A lot of these older cards, lads, were very unique. And these epics are a good example of where the game was balanced before compared to now. Now it's all about stats. So a lot of new cards, including new boosters, might be missing certain key player skills that you need to train them. Riziki's pretty much the finished article if you are using him as a creative attacking midfielder. The only thing he can't really do is shoot. Um, which we see here with the build that we've gone for, 9, 9, 10, 10, 7. That's going to give you tight possession, low pass and acceleration all into the 90s with ball control at 93. And of course, his low pass is going to be key. His finishing is only going to go to 76 with that build. But it's not the worst build I've seen of him. Now, I want to take a look at Parchi Sung as well, because a lot have asked me about Parchi Sung. This guy is an absolute machine. Speed at 88, acceleration at 93. That's going to be both boosted up that you're going to have the plus two manager boost. If you've got 10 hag, it's going to go to 91 speed with 98 stamina, 95 acceleration. If you've got any five star manager such as Guardiola or any of those. Now, when we take a look here at Parchi Sung's base card, he's got some very unique player skills as well. Interception, track back, fight and spirit. But he's also got double touch, long range curler, acrobatic finishing and pinpoint crossing. So it's, it's just a very strange, unique card. A lot of these cards that you're seeing here, they just don't make them like this anymore. Simply put, these cards were very, very unique. As a box-to-box -box left midfielder, he can play anywhere on the left or right in the attacking positions. He only can't play up front. That's it. But the build that we've gone for here is insane. If you can give him soul control and flip-flop, you can get ball roll with him if you've got that line around. You can also give him outside curler if you were planning on shooting a lot with him, even though his stats aren't great. And then you could give him low loft the pass, way to pass any of those if you're looking to have him, you know, swing balls in like David Becks, um, if you want to go that route. This is the build that we've gone for with him. I've just touched on it. Dribbling's going to be 90 with the manager boost, speed, acceleration, and stamina all into the 90s with lofted pass at 80. But you're going to be dependent on player skills for any weakness with these cards because they're not the finished article. They don't have boosters. And even though they've got a lot of levels sometimes, they don't have massive levels that will like overcompensate for a lot of what makes them weak. Now, we also got a lot of questions on the live stream the other day about Julio Cesar, right? This guy's been around the block. He's down as a 30-year-old in this. Very, very solid keeper. And to be honest with you, he has everything that you could possibly want. Low punt and long throw. Perfect starter keeper if you do get him and you are a newcomer. This is the build that we've gone for. We've actually gone for a bit of a hidden build 
on this guy if you see down the left hand side of the screen there so eight into aerial strength and then 10 into goalkeeper one seven into goalkeeper two and eight into goalkeeper three that is going to give us 88 goalkeeper awareness reflexes and jump which because he's not the tallest he's like casillas you need to improve his jump to be able to win high balls that is essentially what it does don't worry too much about reach or clearing um, and catching if you're going to concede a goal with a goalkeeper it doesn't matter if you've got Donna Romander or you've got Lev Yashin it doesn't matter who you have in goals Buffon, Van der Sar, any, any keeper in the world you're going to concede with the way that the gameplay is kind of balanced at the moment but that's going to give you a 90 in those three main stats now you could obviously tweak this aerial strength if you wanted to just keep it at 85 and you could pop it into the rest of them and get your 87 reach and 86 clearance depends on how you want to train him up but that was the build the first one that I would um, definitely recommend now onto the two big boys right we have got Fernando Torres here and we go back to his player card first because we've got Fernando Torres and Van Basten. They're probably the two big ones. This Torres card, lads, in, in my opinion, right, you have to give him flip-flap if you want to turn him into that kind of like lethal in front of goal player. He has double touch, soul control, and scotch move is always nice as well. If you're able to train flip-flap with him, this Torres is 20 years of age from Atletico Madrid before he moved to Liverpool. He's got track back, first time shot, but he doesn't have one touch pass. So I think definitely if you're able to get flip-flap and one touch pass on this guy, He's going to be a beast. He has acrobatic finishing. He has head and chip shot control. I'd also put outside curler on him as well. Definitely, I think that that's probably where you need to go with it. Is he a top class meta center forward compared to some of the other guys? I would potentially say no because of a lack of speed and a lack of aggression on the ball when he has it. I've played with him on my Xbox profile and I was kind of a little bit disappointed with him, to be honest. But let me know your thoughts. He does have 90 awareness, finishing, and acceleration, all with the boosters, or all with the manager boost. But he doesn't have tight possession or balance into the 90s, which is a bit of a pity, because that's where the meta is gone at the moment. And then last but not least, we do have Van Basten. So a lot of people like Van Basten. One touch pass, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, uh, scissors faint, heading. The big problem with Van Basten, boys, is the same problem that every good striker in the game has, or every classic striker that was a fox in the box or a goal poacher, just a brilliant goal scoring machine, his lack of balance. We've popped 12 into dexterity here, and while our acceleration and offensive awareness is fairly okay for a, you know, a kind of a big aerial bombardment type of player, it's much better than like the collars or drug beds or any of that, his physical contact and his balance is very, very poor for a card that is not run and gun. Tight possession, dribbling and ball control is fairly decent. He has 90 finishing. His acceleration is just a little bit off as well. And his header is only 78 as well. So it is an unusual type of card. But this was these were the type of cards they were releasing before. Before they started adding the boosters to kind of overcompensate for the card's weakness. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will be back very, very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you later.